What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of KM Video Live Streams. I never stopped, I never stopped banging, I, I started banging hard, then I got so hard, that it was a shame. I want to talk to you guys today about people that have self-complexes, gang rejects, guys outside of LA, and agent provocateurs. These guys get into these conversations on social media, they weigh in like their opinion really means something. But if you watch my live streams, I touch on a lot of different things. I touch on the agitators, the trolls, people that call people rats and don't understand what a rat is, people that talk about paperwork and don't read the paperwork or can't read the paperwork, people that weigh in on our homeboys, our loved ones, real crips and real damos that they never met, these guys feel like they need some type of voice. They need some type of opinion. And so they post them on YouTube. And it's fair, it's fair game. YouTube's for everybody. But we also have to be reminded that some of these guys are adolescents. Some of these guys are uneducated. Some of these guys suffer from depression. Some guys always wanted to get out their shell, but never could because they weren't cut like that. And so this is the perfect place for people to come, get some LA gang history and shoot their shots at individuals, whether it's the person being profiled or the person whose YouTube channel it is. What I'm specifically talking about today is a guy that left a comment on my homeboy, rest in peace, Steel Bill's video, where I did a profile. So me and S. Mac put together the history of one of our homeboys, labeled as the counter jumper, and had the most bank robberies in Los Angeles, California history in his during his reign of robbing banks. So how we can tell that a guy is a troll agent provocateur or just simply not from LA? Again, maybe a person's uneducated, maybe a person's lazy because they don't like to read, they like the person on the YouTube channel to do all the homework for them. We see a lot of this going on in U.S. politics. Pro-Democrats, pro-MAGA, pro-GOP, Republican, and what have you. Some people have an agenda, and I always talk about that on the live streams. We never know what those people's agenda is. We don't know what type of illness they suffer from at home. We don't know if it's loneliness or just a mental illness. But this guy calls my homeboy rest in peace a rat. Kevin Mack ain't say that look a rat. OG hot as fuck. Negro filed our Rule 35 motion. Number one, you disrespecting the dead. Number two, you try to put that on me or the 60s, one or the other. Sometimes they go hand in hand. But you take a shot at the homie who was an upstanding guy. As far as the streets and prison go, he was an upstanding guy. Reptable, OG. You already out of line if you don't have the facts. So this character, obviously not from LA or obviously not in tune with real gang politics, trying to step in an arena that's too big for him. That's not easily understandable to this particular individual. He went as far as to post a case with a guy with a similar name. This guy is William Smith Jr. that he posts. My homeboy is William Smith III, but Jr. and the third are two different people. Anybody should know that. 
But how we can tell you're not from L.A., if you read the damn case, it has nothing to do with L.A. Remember in the video, these are cases, these are bank robberies in L.A. The LAPD is involved in a federal case. At no point do I mention any politicians. At no point was still Bill a chairman of the House. At no point did still Bill ever represent being a Republican. You have to understand, man, if you're from the streets of L.A. and you gangbanging and you spend most of your years incarcerated from a youth damn near to death, because basically he was he was in prison his entire adulthood. And he died as soon as he got out. So I'm asking you guys in the comments section to stop being so reckless. Stop jumping into L.A. politics if you have no idea how they go. One of the most important things to always look for when you're doing research or you're reading through paperwork is dates. Dates are important to timelines and stories. The dude whose case you posted is in 1985. He was sentenced in 1985. If you look at Steel Bill, and I don't have the paperwork in front of me, I believe he was convicted in 1988. Two different parts of the United States, homie. It's very simple, I mean. Read the goddamn case. Show some type of remorse and delete your comment. So you don't have to say, I deleted it. You don't have to lie on me. The comments are still up. You can man up and go back and delete your comment. Or you can come back and say you made a mistake. You sorry. You understand. Or, you know, you can continue to try to educate yourself on paperwork. You have to read and pay attention to the specifics. Do you really think there's a crip from L.A. born in the 1950s that's actually a Republican in another state? Chairman of the Republicans of Dauphin County. Dauphin County is located in Pennsylvania, you idiot. You know how far Los Angeles is from Pennsylvania? Google it. You don't see anything in that case you posted about Crip, Roller 60s, none of that. You don't see nothing about LA, LAPD, bank robbery. You're reading mail fraud. Mail fraud and robbery of a bank are two different things. Jumping over a counter. And mailing out letters are two different things, my nigga. You must first learn how to read paperwork and find out what a rat really is before you go on trying to smut me, my homeboy, or my hood. Because that's what's popular right now. We know what's popular on social media right now. We know there's a bunch of clowns but the majority only focus on one set. We know that this telling is out of hand. It's an epidemic. But what do you care? You're not in the L.A. gangs. You're not out there committing no crime. You at home safely behind your keyboard disrespecting the dead. This guy that made this post he may know something about federal crimes. He may have been to the feds before because he talks about Rule 35. I've never been to the feds. I've heard of Rule 35. I know a little bit about Rule 35. You take a plea and then you come back to court and you tell on somebody. You work with the government. You become an informant to get lesser time. My own boy been in jail his whole damn life. It wasn't no 12 year sentence. Dude did over 40 years in prison, fool. You talking about a, a, a politician, homie, that gets all type of love, probably went to the most minimum 
So Q probably went to a camp the whole 12 years, dog. So miss me with all that hate. So once again, I want to tell my audience, we can do better. We can do better. And this is a prime example of why I get tired of thinking and fooling myself until we will be this great group of people one day. It won't happen in this lifetime because we're too ignorant, we're too hateful, we're too jealous. We're in other people's business that we have no business in. And we have some very invalid opinions in disrespectful manner. With that said, I'm out of here, y'all, man. Y'all enjoy your day. I'm about to put together one, two, maybe three stories for y'all. So be looking forward to that. Hey, I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day and salute.